Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, trying new products out. I am using the ABH concealer, some skin glazing products from Nadala, Jaclyn Cosmetics, um, Milk Makeup, Urban Decay. If you wanna see how I created this look, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I do upload three times a week. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, so definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. So we're just gonna go ahead and just jump right in. I just did my eyebrows, like I um, shaved them. I shave them. I use a little razor and then I trim them up a little bit and then go from there. So if I have little hairs on my face, it's just my eyebrows. <laughs> so we are going to be getting ready together and I'm going to be testing out a ton of new makeup. I just got my Ulta order that I placed and ordered the Magic Touch Concealer by ABH. If you watch my Shop My Stash, um, I mentioned that I may be getting it in and I would film with it and I did. So that's awesome. I get to try it out. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. I do, I do have the Menagerie Cosmetics Killer Per Palette as well as the quintessence by sydney grace and i want to use this one because i just keep thinking about this shade <sighs> i scraped this when i put it away in another shadow but this one right here is so beautiful the milky way it's look how beautiful this is it's like purple but green flip it's so pretty so i want to put this Ooh, maybe i should do a halo eye i was gonna do like a usual half cut crease but ooh, halo eye will be good. I've really been enjoying this Mario times Ariel, Mario times Ariel, Morphe times Ariel collab. This brush in particular, the number A11. Oh my god, it's really, really good. Let's see, what color should I take? Maybe I'm gonna take this one right here, the Parallax shade. It's a light gray color. And I'm just gonna dust this in... Wow, this is darker than I thought it was gonna be. But I'm just going to put this in my crease. How have you guys been? I've been at my new job for a month now. It's going really well. At first I was like, what did you do to yourself to having to learn something new? And now that I just realized I got this. I did order it from Poshmark so I didn't pay the $5 or $6 that they were selling it for. But I'm super happy I have it. I can get ready with it. So I'm going to use it, actually, because it's new. Get ready with me trying new products, right? <laughs> um, what was I saying? I forgot, but I, I was talking about my job. Um, I've been there for a week now, and I've really been enjoying it. Again, at first, I was just like, what did you do to yourself, girl? Like, why did you want to learn something new? Um, I was at my previous job for seven and a half years, so it was definitely time for a change for me. And I just wanted more, like, experience in something else. Um, I did work in the dental field. I worked in the office. Um, I really enjoyed it. I loved my job. I loved everybody I worked with. But I just, again, wanted something new. So I still do, like, it's not really, well, it's, I work in an office now it's still. It's something different than what I was doing in dental. So, but overall, I'm enjoying it so far um yeah i just wanted to kind of give an update on that these colors are really pigmented i'm going super light-handed because i know sydney grace is really pigmented i'm using the darker gray color in the shade reaching reaching zenith the darker one i guess i'm gonna do a cool tonish look today we are, I'm getting ready because we're going to go to the movies. We're going to watch the new Marvel movie. I don't even know what it's called, but yeah. Now I'm going to go in with the Milky Way shadow. That was pretty fast. I guess it's kind of a quick look. This is so pretty. And I'm just going to apply this in the middle of my eye. Oh my god, that is really pretty. Did you guys pick up any of these palettes? There was like three of them. Well, technically six. There was three light versions and three deep versions. And I'm just like going in with my finger. I'm sure if I actually had used like a glitter glue, it probably would have been more like vibrant. Now I'm just going in with the dark shade and just 
blending the edges a little bit. Okay, I think I probably should put some glitter glue down so it could like pop a little bit. Any of you guys buy the Pat McGrath, like it's kind of like a glitter glue, but it's like a glue stick kind of. I'm kind of intrigued to try it out, but it's $30. Let me know if you've tried it. Do you think it's worth it? I think it'd be very convenient because all you have to do is go in from the tube to the eye instead of like on your finger. I think we are done with the eye look. I think it's pretty for to the movies, you know? <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the face now. I'm going to leave the eyes for a little bit. Um, for primer, the new product, do I have anything new in here? I don't think so. The newer-ish to me is this Pure Lee Silk Glow BB Base Primer. It's um, Satin Sheen Natural Glow Finish. So we're going to... Should we use that? Let's go for it, I guess. I'm use I'm gonna be using a hydrating primer. I mean foundation. So hopefully I'm not too glowy. You see when I say I have dark circles, like I literally have dark circles and I feel like these are mostly sunspots to be honest. I didn't wear sunscreen for the longest time and actually I don't even have sunscreen on right now. My sunscreen, I'm using the Bliss one. And that one makes me mad. So I'm actually going to correct first. And I'm just going to go in with my Becca corrector. And I'll be right back for my foundation. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be going in with this Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydro Maniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. Medium coverage up to 24 hour wear. <laughs> this is in the shade Light 30. And just by looking at it in the tube, I think it'll be a pretty good match. Um, I do get PR, some PR from Urban Decay, so this was sent to me. I just kind of want to let you guys know that. Let's see. Ooh, it looks a little lighter, but I believe light medium was a little, like, orange a little bit. So I'm just going to, it does feel on the thicker side a little bit. So I'm just going to go and blend it out with my sponge. Yeah, it's a little light for me for sure when i saw it in person um light medium looked really yellow Ooh, maybe i should have went with light medium but this will be good for like winter time it's too light though because i feel like i can see everything it is not blending really nicely on my skin and it might be because it's too light. Like, I feel like it's, like, sitting on my skin. This is too light for me. <laughs> hmm. I think bronzing my skin will be fine. But right now, it is not looking... It looks kind of dry on my skin. It This color, I feel... Well... I feel like it looks lighter on my hand than it does through the tube. I just went obviously with what I saw through the tube when I was at Ulta, when I saw it in person. But obviously, I feel like my dark circles are like really noticeable having this light foundation on. Okay. I don't know. This shade is not good for me though. It's a little light. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go in with, this is probably going to be like way darker than my foundation. I might have to take my foundation off. Um, this is the ABH Magic Touch, Touch Concealer in the shade number 6. And I opened it up a little bit ago. Well, just like out of the packaging. And the color looks like it'll be a pretty good match. Hopefully. It's going to be lighter than... Mm, but, oh no. It's going to be too dark. <laughs> Let's see. Definitely, right? Oh no. I'm going to have to exchange it. It might be fine, but it just probably is too dark for this. Like the color, because of the foundation I have on. <laughs> I'm going to have to take this foundation off because my skin's going to look dry just because the match is not right for me. So I think I'm just going to have to take it off because you can see where I played the concealer as well. I wonder if I should keep going and just bronze up my skin, but it's definitely too light and it's gonna look bad on my skin 
mm, I don't know what do like I'm trying to blend it <laughs> down here I think once adding like bronzer and blush it might be okay I'm just gonna leave it let me see so I'm going to apply the Urban Decay powder. This is not new to me. I've used it before and it's actually a really beautiful powder. It like, I feel like it smooths my skin and it looks really pretty. So we're gonna just continue on. I am gonna have to brighten the under eyes though because my under eyes are darker than the rest of my face. You can probably tell now. <laughs> I probably should have set with this instead. I'm using the Essence Banana Bright Powder that I have in my project pan. I think the coverage is pretty good. I think I needed a little more corrector, but overall it's nice. And then I'm just going to set the rest of my skin with the powder. I just saw that I had the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Mm. I heard it's really pretty on the under eye, so let me kind of dust it on there. But I already applied more powder off of camera. I guess I'll use it throughout the week. All these products that I'm like working on right now or sharing with you guys, they're in this week's uh, Shop My Stash. So I'll be using them throughout the week and then come back on my next Shop My Stash and I'll tell you guys like reviews more of actually using them. So for bronzer, I did pick up the Nabla Skin Bronzing Sun Kissed Effect Bronzing Powder. I picked up the shade in Dune. This is what it looks like. I have a couple of the highlighters and I think they're super pretty. So we're going to try out the bronzer. And there's like no kickback. And I feel like it just looks, these powders look so beautiful on the skin. This is a good match. I was kind of afraid it wasn't going to be a good match because it looks really warm on here. But it looks fine to me, right? Okay. I like it. First impressions, it's good. And I also did pick up two of the Skin Glazing. These are highlighters, but I picked these shades up as blushes. So I'm feeling this one right now. I had picked up Independence and Lola, both of the new shades. So we are going to try out Independence because it's the darker one. And they have the same packaging. I have a few of these as well. And I think they're super pretty. Look at that. It's really nice. So we're just going to take my bronze blush brush. <laughs> Oh yeah, see this one's like way more pigmented. Okay, I might have to go in with my powder brush and tone it down a little bit. <laughs> it's really pretty. This one's definitely more pigmented, I felt, than the bronzer. And then for highlighter, I, I picked up the Jaclyn Cosmetics highlight during the 21 Days of Beauty Stills. This was in the shade Mesmerize. So we're going to take this one here. It's like a peachy gold highlight right there. So let's take this. I have iced and I was like, I really want this one too. So... I'm glad this was like part of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty Steals. Getting them half off, that's awesome. Oh, I was like, I don't really see anything, but in the viewfinder, you can see it. And I like these because they're not like glittery. They're really pretty and nice. Okay, all I need to do is set my skin. I don't know if I want to use... I'll use this. This is the one I picked from my shop, my stash. The L'Oreal Lumi. This is really nice. I heard it's like a dupe to the Tatcha uh, Dewy Mist. Man, the mister on this is really fine too. I guess I'm going to be very glowy today. My skin needed glow though because it kind of looked dry. It doesn't even look dry anymore. Um, it looks kind of thicker on the sides right here and then like a little dry up here. But overall, my skin looks pretty smooth other than those areas there. I really like the Urban Decay Powder. It's, it's really smoothing on the skin. Okay, what is needed? Just eyeliner and mascara for eyeliner. Rude motorcycle. I am gonna use this new eyeliner. This is the Milk Makeup Kush 
liquid eyeliner. This is just in black. I saw these at uh, Marshalls, but I was wanting to pick them up and I didn't, but I had placed an order at Poshmark. Actually, when I ordered this, I got this in there for free, so that's cool. Um, so let's go ahead and use this eyeliner and see. Have you guys tried it out? I don't know, but I'm like, cool, I got a free liner. So technically, I'm okay with paying overpaying for this. Because this is retails for five bucks and I paid 20. So getting this with this, I think it's, I got a pretty good deal. What do you guys think? It's not, it doesn't glide on like the roller liner, the black one does, but it's still pretty dark. So that's good. I feel like it's like not as pigmented though because I'm going over where I already went. So it's not pigmented with one stroke if you guys know what i'm trying to say i got to go over it this side looks thicker than this side now dang it oh we watched a movie last night a couple friends came over a couple friend a couple friend <laughs> friends <laughs> came over and we watched Ugh, i forgot the name have you guys seen that movie it was definitely very different i was just like I was scared not don't get me wrong I was scared but then at the end like I didn't get scared anymore because I was like oh my god I'm gonna be scared at night like my daughter better not be wanting me at night because I will let her figure it out on her own at night <laughs> oh mascara I have a new mascara this is the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara this is um in just black I believe my friend gave me like a little kit I think for my birthday no, I think she gave this to me for Christmas. <gasps> it's been in my backup drawer. I haven't even used it. Um, testing it out now. It's because I don't want a whole bunch of mascaras open. So, but I decided to grab a new mascara since I'm filming. I'll get ready with me trying new products out. Okay, so this mascara. Mm, it's okay. I like a very like volumizing mascara. I don't really go for length. I go more for volumizing and thickening of the lashes. And this one I feel like it's like separating my lashes. I don't know what they're claiming that this mascara does. It does like really separate my lashes though. So they do look pretty and full. But they're not doing much for volumizing, to be honest. So I also ended up picking out a mascara that's newer to me, but I've used it before, the ABH Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. This one is really good. I would definitely pick up a full size of this. I really like it. I don't think I'm going to apply any eyeshadow on the bottom. So I'm just going to apply mascara now. I do see, notice that my under eye looks a little creasy. Mm. Um, I'm going to finish off my eyebrows off of camera. I don't have new eyebrow products and I will be right back. So for eyebrows, I actually just went in with my Kush Fiber Brow Gel in the shade Grind. And then I kind of just went in with my areas that I don't really have brow hairs and filled it in and kind of filled it in here and there. This looks really good, huh? Who needs a brow pencil when you got a fiber brow gel? I really like the way my brows look. They look pretty natural and pretty. For lips, I have three new MAC lipsticks. I think I'm going to go with Bad and Bare. I also have Whirl and Bronx. So this is Bad and Bare. This one is Bronx. And then this one is in Whirl. Mm, I'm feeling this one over here. I think it was bad and bad, right? Yes. This one is a satin finish. I believe the other ones felt more drier as I was swatching them. A oh, retro matte is bronze, no wonder. And then this one is a matte, so no wonder they felt. And you can see it on my swatch that their swatch more matte than the first one but you can tell Bronx which is a retro matte looks a little more like matte-er than Whirl but 
this one's really pretty so this is my final look my skin actually looks not so dry anymore it still looks a little dry up here again around my nose area looks a little dry i have like mascara flaking oh my god is my glossy air dry it felt really dry to be honest dang it i need to at least open up my mascaras that i get and try them because they're drying up just sitting in the backup drawer without even being open so okay so overall my skin looks pretty good i feel like it looks a little flat so i might put more of this on I just feel like it adds like a more like healthy glow. I don't feel like it's too luminous because I didn't really like luminous found uh, foundations or anything luminous. But lately, I feel like my skin's just dry. It looks dry, not dry like it did today because I feel like this foundation shade is a little too light for me. But it just kind of looks matte, and I feel like my skin is aging, so it kind of needs more like luminosity, you know. It looks smooth it looks good the foundation i think would have been good if it was more of my shade i probably should have went with the deeper shade um the skin glazing ones i really like the blush the bronzer is really nice as well the highlights pretty nice i feel like i can see it more on the viewfinder than like on my skin um the eyeshadow is nice i think it's pretty i thought it was gonna look a little more different than it does but it's still pretty the eyeliner's more on the tougher side but not bad you know uh, the mascara, I think it's drying up. I don't think I got its full potential, like if it was like a fresh mascara. Um, overall, I like it. I like this lip color too. I think it's pretty. Overall, I like the way my skin looks. I like the way my eyeshadow came out. I like my skin besides certain areas here and there. But I think, again, it's more, it's being, I think sometimes the skin looks extra dry when the shade is too light for you. So... It could be just that because it's a hydrating uh, foundation or skin tint. So it shouldn't um, look dry. You know what I mean? So overall, I think uh, I'll give it like my skin looks like an 8. I think 8 out of 10 for the whole face. Uh, I feel like I need to correct a little better on the under eyes. But you guys saw my dark circles are pretty dark. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have you guys used any of the products I used today, what do you think of them? Or if you haven't and you want to try, what products are you eyeing that you want to pick up? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.